What is up, fam? It's your dude fan of here. Welcome to another video. It's your dude fan of here. Wow, wow. Hey, guys. This one's called Too High at Work, guys. I don't condone using drugs, but I have been a addict before, so I can kind of relate. I'd always, uh, I'd always do staking while under the influence back then, man. And it didn't affect my judgment, bro. Uh, I got tilted a lot more. Broke down crying and stuff, man. But this one's called Too High at Work. Let's check it out. I've mentioned how getting high at school can be stressful, but getting high... Bro, I can't imagine, bro. I was always too scared to do it. I was too scared to do it, guys. It's too much for me. <laughs> I at work is just fucked. I mean, at school, you just have to be quiet and keep your head down and hope nobody notices. At work, you actually have to do work. So the difficulty in the... Bruh. Yeah, don't, don't recommend doing that, man. You can get caught if you're doing that. Risk factors are way higher in my opinion. Especially if you're working in some kind of retail job because then you gotta communicate with other human beings. Bruh. He's actually, he's actually right. Gotta, gotta bring, my friend always uh, would bring eye drops just because, you know, he didn't want to get caught, bro. In my case, I served my time as an honorary Safeway employee, and the job made me want to kill myself. I swear, human beings were not built for the 9 to 5 minimum wage grind. These jobs- Yeah, man, I hope AI prevents us from needing to do these kind of jobs, but they do pay pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It's at least compared to being a YouTuber, because I have not made much money as a YouTuber yet. But we're starting starting to gain trash in, into our band on the other account, on the other channel. Jobs <laughs> will just suck the goddamn soul out of you like no other. If I didn't smoke at work, I would have gone bananas. Now I've smoked. A Yo, that's from uh, Donkey Kong sixty four, man. Good few amount of times while at work, but there was one particular day where I got a little confident in my ability and smoked too much. I had an eight. Uh oh, bro. Guys, I used to be heavily addicted to edibles back then, and um, yeah, they would hit me so hard, and I'd just keep making them. Eventually, I had to move on to concentrates. I was wasting like up to forty dollars a day just from doing that, and I, I like I bought my staking. I bought my, I bought my, I bought it all from staking basically, guys. I never really invested it in like a cool, like a uh, stuff that you know, I needed like stuff that doesn't just disappear, like you know, when you buy it, such as that, because I was wasting like twenty, like up to set six hundred bucks a month, bro. Just doing the stub, bro, and eight hour shift ahead of me from two to t I could have bought like a next gen console, I could have bought all this stuff, but I never bought it. And where I had to alternate each hour from sweeping and cleaning. The thing about these days is that they were by far the easiest days on the job. Hence the overconfidence. I got to work, started smoking, and clocked in. And the beginning of my shift went pretty well. I was sweeping like a king. I was cleaning like a king. Let's go, let's go. It's kind of, I have social, I've been, I've been developed a social anxiety, so... I never uh, wanted to do this kind of job, bro. I like doing online stuff. Eventually, the monotony got to me after an hour or so, so I smoked a little more. Almost instantly, I knew I smoked a little too much. Uh oh, he's zoning out. He, he, he's, he's reached the fourth dimension. I'd be going around to each of the store's little departments, forgetting if I had cleaned them or not. I'd be sweeping every other aisle without realizing I was. It was bad. Eventually Hey, you gotta pretend you gotta, you're working somehow, right? Guys, what, what do you do in that situation? You just gotta wait. It feels so agonizing when you get like that, man. You just gotta, like, wait it out, but you know that it's gonna take a while for it to actually go down and stuff. So it's like, there's nothing you could do about it, basically. Eventually, once I got to cleaning the bathroom, I just locked myself in there and sat on the toilet to collect my thoughts. He's having an existential crisis. He's like, dang, bro. What is life? What is life? 
and what is the meaning of life. Alright, I'm obviously way too high right now to do my job. What can I do about this? Well, I could eat food, but then I'd have to wait until my break. Or I could- Hey, that's a good way to get it to come down, you know what I mean? Just sneak a little treat. I need to find a way to avoid work. I think letting time do its thing is the best play here. So I left the bathroom with this plan to finish my cleaning and then just hide in the break room until the next hour came and I had to sweep. As I was walking through the store, I walked by the bakery and those goddamn donuts were just enticing to me. I couldn't resist the urge to just take a donut, but I didn't think any further past that so I grabbed the donut but I couldn't eat it because people would see that I was eating the donut and stealing it so quickly I thought up the idea to just shove the donut into my pocket and bro <laughs> yeah come on now you never see someone do that at work man but unless you're unless you're feeling super super you know then I would the way like, I guess nobody saw him, guys. Eat it once I got to the break room. I went on to do my job, but then I saw my manager approach me. Oh, fuck. Oh, no snap. She knows I'm high, bro. She knows I'm high. She knows about the donut, too. It's all over. I'm gonna lose my fucking job. Um, excuse me, but Jared told me that you didn't clean the toilet. When I had went into the bathroom earlier, I forgot to clean it. And this goddamn guy, Jared, narked me out. Oh, my bad. I'll go. Dang, bro. <laughs> narked you. He narked out, bro, from cleaning the toilet, man. What a snitch. Go and do that now. Then I had to go back to the bathroom and watch Jared teach me how to clean a toilet. I was just watching this man filled with real, un <laughs> bro. filtered primal rage. <laughs> man, you just gotta put a little elbow grease into it just like this. Fuck you, Jared. Afterward, I went to the break room as planned and I ate this nasty donut that had been sitting in my pocket for the past 10 minutes. But my plan to hide here was uh, successful. Hey, he ate it though, he ate it. Once it was time to do my sweeps, I barely swept. I won't even lie, but I finished it in like 10 minutes and then I hid in the break room for the next 50. The next time I had to go to the bathroom to clean it, I was like, I really gotta clean this toilet well or else Jared is gonna come for my ass again. So what I did next was Dang it, Jared! <laughs> Look through this. Never had a job, but you know, it feels like uh, the vibe would be cool there occasionally. Occasionally. Storage closet for a literal product called elbow grease. I was too high to realize that elbow grease was not an actual thing. So I Oops. went over to Jared and I was like, hey, bro, I can't find the elbow grease. And he just stared at me for like three seconds of silence. And then I saved it and went, I'm joking, and I just walked away. I still thought that elbow grease was a thing. I didn't put it together. Bro. He's, he's gonna get caught if he's doing it like this, guys. I just was gonna go and clean it without the elbow grease. I ended up doing my little break room exploit for the rest of the day, and by the end of my shift, I was feeling sober. On my way home when I was driving, I realized, wait a minute. See, man, you just gotta put a little elbow grease. Bro. <laughs> Elbow grease. Who uses that term nowadays? Not much, you right? Do it just like this. Damn. Guys, that is wild. That's a wild video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, everyone. Thank you for watching. Later, guys.